and so is this one my jacket and did some cable management took some uh, connects to the to the bike itself at this stage it's just the install hey guys welcome back i'm sandy you're watching holy shift i have this bag of goodies and today i'm going to be installing 12 volt heated gear <laughs> So this is pretty much what I got in the bag. I got GER being 12 volt, medium, size medium, the G4 leather heated gloves. The part I like over here about these gloves, as opposed to the Heroes, if you guys know the Heroes, is they got a, a, a bigger collar over here because I like it to fit over, over my sleeves. The cable, uh, the Y cable. I need cable to run through my sleeves with uh, the battery harness itself. We're gonna be installing the harness uh, to the bike. I'll take the bike out in a second and we'll do the quick install. Should be simple. Just connecting the two cables, two sides to the terminal, to the battery itself. Pop in the fuse and that should be it. You're probably asking yourself, hey, why, why did I go all of a sudden with a 12 volt uh, battery? As you can see over here, last uh, few videos, I actually tested out and reviewed uh, heated gear and they were battery operated. I did uh, gloves and a vest. And I liked both of the items. I kept the vest, but the gloves I decided to return. The only reason I decided to return is it wasn't right for my needs. I needed gloves that would hold uh, for a long time. And uh, my conclusion uh, and my thoughts about the, the heated gloves uh, were they were doing a really good job, but they only lasted in these cold temperatures, they only lasted for like two hours. And my typical ride was uh, half a day five, six hours, that which meant that I have to get extra batteries. And then that the whole point was uh, to get extra batteries to make sure they're charged. And that whole thing became more complicated and extra money. So I decided to return them and I pretty much paid double for, for this gear, but this is uh, more suited and fit to what I, uh, what I will use them for. Connected to the bike, 12 volt, never run out of juice, and it's good for a, a long, long ride. That is why I got this 12 uh, volt uh, kit. Obviously step one is to take the seat off. Uh, let's start with the backrest. And my quick release uh, bolt over here which you can actually find and buy it i bought it on amazon you can find a link down by the description where where i bought this no need for any tool and then just the seat itself now pretty much i need to expose uh the terminals of the battery which are under under this plastic cover. So they're uh, pretty much two Torx bolts over here. Once I uh, loosen them up and take them out, this whole plastic cover is gonna come out. Now this whole thing lifts up. And here we have the terminals. Now I'm not gonna move uh, everything else, just uh, exposed it so I can see the terminals and now connect uh, the harness. Where's the harness? Where's the harness? I actually opened it yesterday, so. It's not a fresh unboxing. The plus and minus red and black and a place for the fuse. Uh, they provide, of course, different uh, types of fuses and with a little uh, pamphlet over here explaining each, each item that you connect, how many amps it draws. According to that, you add up all your items that will be connected and you round it up to the nearest uh, amperage fuse and you put in that fuse. So in my case, I'm putting only the gloves 
The gloves are 2.2 amps, so I put in uh, a three amp uh, fuse. Okay, simple harness. And just connect it. That's nice and tight. Let's do the other side. Posit it. Positive red. We'll do the red positive and just connect it right there. Now let's tighten it. And yeah, it is as simple as that. Now let's test it out before I even close everything up. Uh, let's connect the cables and see that it works. Take the Y cable. One side connects to the harness that, that goes to the battery and then it splits into two, two gloves. And this part's supposed to go one into each sleeve of your jacket and then connect to the glove. So let's connect this. I'll, I'll turn the bike on. Okay, that is nice. Now let's connect the gloves. One, uh, one to each side. One here, now the other side, connect that. Okay, what I'm doing right now is just testing it out. This is not how you use it. You have to have a controller or it's recommended to have a controller between uh, the harness and the gloves. So I'm just making sure that it's connected and it's warming up and I'm gonna shut it immediately down because you can actually burn, uh, burn this stuff. After I connect it and everything's working, I'll connect it through the controller and make sure that everything is working. This is just now to see that my connection to the battery right there is connected properly. This one is heating up and it's nice and warm already. And so is this one. So it's working. Okay, now that we've tested it out, let's close up everything over here nice and tidy, nice and clean, and put the seat back on. Then we'll test it out with the controller. Okay, one screw, one bolt, now the other. Now that we have the harness connected, Cable management again. Just bundle up the rest of the cable that you don't need. You only want a certain length on uh, to reach in like between your legs. It's uh, popping between the seat and the fuel tank. That should be good enough. Okay, now that it's bundled up, pretty much put the seat uh, back on. Now the seat is back on. You can uh, wire it over here on the side. I've seen John put it over here, over here. Pretty much anywhere you want to use it, want to put it. I, will, I want to be here, I'll check it out, see if it's good. And when I'm not using it, I'll just put it back there. And then this back in. I don't know why they uh, make this in uh, red. I'll check if they have it in black. Although the red does fit my bike. But I'll check if they have a black, if they have a black plug, a black uh, protective uh, cover over there. And last, the backrest. Now let me go in and get the controller and see how it connects and works. Okay, this is the controller. This is a single controller. I think it costs like $49. Uh, Gerbing recommends that, and I think it's a good, uh, wise idea. If you're gonna buy already a controller, might as well get a dual controller because as you grow, you add more and more items. So you wanna have it into two zones. Like this, if it's all going through one controller, it's all your gear is gonna be uh, controlled only by one controller. This controller I got from John from Cycle Fanatics as a gift he had left over, but my dual controller is on its way. Okay, one side, as we said before, connects to the to the bike itself which is the male goes right here ok 
Okay, as you see, it just blinked. It turned red, blue. And now this side, this side you connect either to any liner, any part that's uh, that you want to have heated. In our case, we're since we're using uh, two gloves, so I'm gonna take it into a splitter, a Y splitter, that uh, splits it, uh, splits one into two gloves. And that cable is gonna be running through the jacket, through uh, my riding jacket. Put one side. Then the other outlet, through this side. So as you can see, the bottom plug that connects to the battery, to the controller, one side glove and the other side glove. This will be connected to the gloves. And over here, the bottom, this connects to the bike, to the control, let's put it that way. Close this. Let's connect the controller, the controller side to the Y cable, start the bike and connect the gloves. Got a little excess uh, cable over here. We'll put that, oh, actually I can pull it in through here. A little bit complicated. My first time, there you go. Now let's turn it on. Long click. And I guess it's now on the hottest, hottest setting. Let me connect the other side. Oh, and it's, it's starting to warm up. I can feel. And, and it's warming up. Of course, this excess uh, cable, I can pull from here. So it is working nice. Obviously, it's a little getting used to it with all these cables and wires and getting used to, you know, where to put this in my pocket or there's actually a holder, but I'll figure that out. And it's first time for me just, to, you know, again, to deal with the uh, cable or wire management. Just before I end this, I went into the house, uh, took my jacket and did some cable management, took some uh, two-sided Velcro that I had, improv over here, cable here and here and ran it through the sleeve and up here. So that way I can play around with it. And this is, the harness is gonna come out to the front and connect to my, uh, to the controller actually. Both sides, easy two-sided tape, but you can do it pretty much with, uh, you know, any tape or any uh, uh, electrical tape or something like that. I just did it at home. Just as I put the bike back in, the mailman came in and got me my dual uh, dual controller by Gerbing. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm probably gonna get insoles because I already have the gloves. I have the heated vest, which is battery operated and it works for a very long period of time. That's why I'm keeping it. And uh, my feet, my, my toes, my toes are really cold. So I'm gonna get insoles. Uh, so let's hope this solves my problems and I'll be able to ride long, uh, long rides with heated gear. So that's it for now, guys. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this short video review. Actually, it's not really a review at this point. At this stage, it's just the install. Hope you enjoyed this install, found it helpful. Appreciate if uh, you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. From Holy Shift, I am Sandy. Until the next video. Peace out, guys.